Hi, welcome to Simply Last Media. Today we're going to take a look at the QNAP TVS 882T. This is a Thunderbolt solution for SMB from QNAP. It comes with, going over the major features, sorry, comes with built-in M.2 SATA, which is 6 gigabit slots, and also 2.5 inch SSD slots, which you can see. The M.2s are actually inside the enclosure on the motherboard where M.2 belongs. Um, QTIA technology is also on this NAS, nothing new anymore for us. QNAP have had QTIA for a little while now. Um, just allows you to optimize storage, which is why they've given you the different levels of hard drives now. You have 3.5 inch, 2.5 inch, and as the M.2, as we mentioned as well. Um, this allows you to optimize performance for your highest applications. Um, let's say you've got a DB file that you access often, that'll go onto your faster drives, whereby your little files that you've archived away and you don't really touch anymore, they're there because it is an ass and that's what you use it for, you archive. Um, they'll sit on the 3.5 inch drives, which gives you cheaper storage options. So getting your best bang for your buck out of this machine. You can use it as a high tier NAS and a low tier NAS all at the same time. Um, it also has triple HDMI output. I know it's an SMB machine, but home users can also use this. The triple HDMI output is fantastic for 4K. Um, if you're a video editor or a photographer, that's also fantastic for you as well. Um, it allows you to directly attach this beast to a PC or a Mac. Um, let's say you don't have Thunderbolt for whatever reason. Um, you can use this as a local machine and edit directly off it. It does have the power capability to do so. Uh, 4K becomes a little bit tough. You'd have to add a video graphics card, which is an optional add-on from QNAP. They do support them. Uh, you can check which ones are compatible on the compatibility list at simplynas.com or on QNAP.com. Both sites do have those available. available. Um, we also have here two Thunderbolt 2 20 gigabits a second ports. Um, those are theoretical. You can get up to 20 gigabits per second. I've never personally seen it. I have seen about as fast as 15 to 18 though, so that's fantastic speed. Still better than you get over the network. Um, that allows you to quickly edit local files, which makes this an ideal solution for Mac users who have Thunderbolt equipped Macs, and also PC users now that have Thunderbolt equipped PCs via PCI Express. Um, this is great for video editors, photographers who are editing raw files. Uh, it just gives you a great quick fast access but it means you can also have a NAS and a DAS at the same time, um, rather than having to buy a DAS and then having a NAS somewhere else on the network, so you can share files. Um, so that's that's the triple threat solution here. One I didn't mention is I, iSCSI SAN. Um, you can use this now as an iSCSI SAN as well, which all QNAPs have always been able to do. So really the new feature here is the Thunderbolt 2 port. That gives you four available combinations for sharing files. Um, you can use the IP iSCSI SAN, you can share files using Thunderbolt locally, and you can also use Thunderbolt to leverage to share over the network. QNAP have done things a little different here, whereby Thunderbolt can actually pick up an IP address, and you can just use the Thunderbolt connections to share. And then, of course, you've got your 10 gig base T ports, which are also on the back of this. Um, so just to summarize, you get four 1 gig Ethernet ports, two Thunderbolt 2 ports, and two 10 gig base T ports. So you've got a plethora of options of connectivity here. If you don't have 10 gig now, you can have it later. It's already ready in the machine. Um, your four one gigabit ports, everybody's got the capability of doing that. And then of course, you're only buying this if you've got a Thunderbolt equipped PC or Mac. Um, so it's great. You can scale this NAS all the way up to 432 terabytes. So whilst it's only an eight bay at the moment, it can become your major data repository if you need it to be. Uh, this can be scaled by using the Thunderbolt ports on the back of the NAS. Um, they have Thunderbolt equipped expansion enclosures that come in five and eight bay flavors. And of course, you can connect quite a few of them if you're going to get all the way to 432 terabytes. That 432 terabytes, keep in mind, is calculated off current eight terabyte. We have already moved to 10 terabyte drives, so that number does need a bit of an update. But we're waiting for 10 terabyte drives to really become uh, really fully available in the market and the compatibility and reliability to become something we're more comfortable with. Um, so that number gets updated. When that, get update, when that number gets updated, you know 10 terabyte drives are really in circulation. Let's say you don't want to add millions of expansion units and you've already bought two or three other QNAP masses. QNAP now have the ability to do something called virtual JBOD. Virtual JBOD allows you to use the free space on any of your other QNAP NASes and free up space here as an expansion unit. Um, that's fantastic because it means I don't have to buy different expansion units and let's say have four or five different expansion units for one machine, uh, especially if I already own other QNAP NASes. It also supports QRM Plus, which is a remote server management utility from QNAP that allows you to manage one, two, three, four, 
all, all the key apps you can have in your building from a remote location all in one centralized location without having to log into various different NASes. Now, the other new key feature here is DDR4 memory. QNAP now supported DDR4 memory in the X8 II range, um, in the non-Thunderbolt and in the Thunderbolt range. This allows you to go up to 64 gig maximum. It is a 2133 megahertz compatible memory, but great speed, fantastic, exactly what you find in the PlayStation these days as well, and the Xbox. So memory performance is fantastic. Again, geared towards video and photographers. Um, it's fantastic for that. You get plenty of RAM space to do your raw editing and actually get your editing done whilst on the NAS rather than having to copy and back and forth between your Mac or PC and the NAS. That kind of is the major features of this NAS. There are other things. Um, I'll quickly touch on them. There's audio inputs and audio outs at the back. This allows you to play, attach a speaker directly to the QNAP and play audio if you want. They also have a, a fun karaoke feature. Let's say the office having an office party, we can use our NASA as a karaoke feature as well, um, and have some karaoke going, which is always fun. Um, aside from that, that really is the main difference is you do have your USB 3 ports at the back, same old, um, I mean, backward compatible USB 2 as well if you need it. Um, they do also come in two different power supply functions. I did want to touch on that. Um, it's not actually down as a major feature because it isn't, but however, if you're a videographer and a, and a photo editor, the higher, PSU output is important if you're going to install a video card. Um, if you're going to use this as your local PC, the higher output of the um, power supply is imperative to actually keep you running smoothly and get that video card really performing the way you'd want it to. Uh, but that's the major features of this NAS. Uh, I'm going to go over a quick buyer's guide. Now, this buyer's guide is just a quick overview to see if this NAS fits for you. However, please don't let what I say here deter you from purchasing the NAS. Do give our salespeople a call because there can be points that I didn't touch on that the salespeople are more pertinent on touching on when it comes to your specific use case. However, just quickly going over it, um, QNAP and Simply NAS are both leaders in the SMB market range for NAS. Um, whilst this isn't now a pure NAS, it's a DAS, NAS, and nice SCSI SAN. It is something new QNAP and Sim simply NAS are quite happy carrying. It is still a NAS at the end of the day, and it is our main target range. Um, simply NAS won an award this year for MVP, which is most valuable partner at QNAP. Um, so we're very, very proud of that award, and we'd like to, of course, mention it. Uh, two year warranties on this NAS. All SMB NASs from QNAP have two year warranty. You have the option of extending it to five years if you need it. A lot of people do. I mean, it's nice to have a kit like this backed for five years. Um, that is an extended warranty. If it is mission critical data, you also have the ability to purchase advanced replacement warranty as well. Let's say something does go wrong, they will ship you a NAS first or a replacement part before you send it back to them. Um, this is useful for mission critical scenarios. The NAS comes preloaded with QTS 4.2 is an intuitive, easy to use, easy to learn smartphone-esque interface. Um, if you've got an iPhone, an Android phone, really any smartphone these days, uh, you know how to use QTS already. All you have to do is click on the icons that show on your dashboard and hey presto, you can rock and roll with the NAS. QNAP have also developed QSearch app. QSearch app has become very fundamental for QNAP NASs. Uh, indexes absolutely and utterly every single file on your NAS. Unless, of course, you've gone into the QSearch settings and said, please don't index this. I don't need it to show up in the search. Um, it allows you for real-time searching uh, of your NAS. It also has a Google Chrome plugin. Well, Google Apps plugin, I suppose, would be a better way of putting it, um, where you can download the QSearch Google app and just search directly off your either Chrome or Chromebook or off your Google Chrome browser. Um, this allows you access even faster. You don't even need to log into your NAS anymore. Uh, remember, this is all also leveraged with my QNAP Cloud. Uh, that's where I can come to the office and fire up my Chromebook and actually check my NAS and files at home. Uh, my QNAP Cloud leverages me the ability to have remote access without having an expensive VPN-like setup. Um, that's great for home. SMB-wise, you should really have a VPN. We will recommend that. Please bear in mind, my QNAP Cloud, whilst a secure service, your data does pass over their network. Um, Q-tiering, we spoke about it slightly at the beginning, but I'll go over a little bit more. It maximizes your performance for your most used applications, for your most accessed applications. Um, not just applications, but data as well. 
Uh, let's say again, DB file, um, for instance, here. Personally, I have a home lab running. Um, my Docker station runs on there. It's something I access all the time. That runs off my SSDs rather than off my 3.5 inch, where my movies, my photos, etc., all just sit on my 3.5 inch drives. I do, in fact, have a TVS 682T at home. So, same thing, but the 6 bay version. Um, my wife wouldn't let me have something this big at home ever. But that being said, it's a fantastic NAS. I've used it personally. It's something that I use daily. The performance is outstanding. I upgraded from a TS453 Pro, and the performance, I would say, quite easily is about 20 to 25% jump. Um, that's over the network. Using Thunderbolt, I can't even compare. Um, the triple threat solution that we spoke about, DAS, NAS, iSCSI SAN, that's very important in the buyer's guide as well. If you're going to use this as an iSCSI SAN, please bear in mind, you can also use it as a Thunderbolt and a network attached machine all at the same time. Um, you don't have to use one feature and disconnect and use the other feature. It can run all three solutions in one go. Of course, your physical setup would have to allow you to do so. Um, sometimes servers having an attached machine don't really allow us to have the capability of attaching it to a network. However, if you do have that ability, you can use it all three in one go. Uh, you can, of course, also partition it, whereby the iSCSI SAN only uses this much space and the rest of it uses this much space. That control, as usual, is always up to you. Lastly, but not least, this is ideal for all Thunderbolt equipped people. Um, PC, Mac users, uh, Thunderbolt is the fastest method of connectivity we have at the moment um, in terms of dash range. Uh, it really is very 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 fast you can transfer files in a blink of an eye i would say um, it allows you to really just get on with your work while you're archiving files and the advantage of course with the dash solution is when you're transferring something big you can do it during office hours because you're not hurting your network bandwidth at all anymore aside from that you've got your general qnap features qsync is also a great option it gives you dropbox like functionality with the nas allows you to sync files, share, share QSync 3.0, which has only just been released, actually allows you now to invite team members and everything as well. So becoming a lot more like a Dropbox solution. Advantage being, I know where my data is, it's on my NAS, it's not on Dropbox servers somewhere around the world. But that wraps up our video for us today. If you have any questions about the QNAP TVS 882T, please do give us a call. We're more than happy to speak to you at always, 407-960-4690. Alternatively, if you can't get to the phone, you can always give us an email, sales at simplynash.com. During office hours, we're very, very fast at replying emails. Sometimes you get very, very lucky and we reply after hours too. Um, so just let us know if you have any other questions. Please don't let the buyer's guide put you off. If I didn't touch on something you feel may be useful for you, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to discuss it. Again, the phone number is 407-960-4690. If you did like this video, please do hit the like button. And do subscribe to our channel, that way you get updates for videos such as these, which are very important when a new NAS does come out. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day from all of us at Simply NAS.